setting up your character's appearance and look in Hogwarts Legacy is all pretty straightforward. It's part of the intro to the game, you'll set up your character, but what happens when you're well into the game and you fancy freshen up your look? What can we do? Lucky for us there's three options to help with our conundrum. Number one, we'll be able to change our outfits, we'll be collecting new gear all around the castle and Hogsmeade. Option number two, we can actually go to Hogsmeade and completely change the look similar to how we set up our character in the first place. Everything is fully customizable. There is a drastic option available to us if we want to change our house as well. We can create a new save file. Lucky for us, Hogwarts Legacy offers you the chance to run multiple stories in different save files. We'll guide you through all three of these options, so stay tuned. When we're exploring Hogwarts Legacy, we'll be able to find new outfits and attire all over the map. Revelio will be our best friend here, which is left on the D-pad. As you'll see in that chest, we just found a new school uniform. Start to open up the menus. Here you'll see the gear option. Here you'll be able to change your gloves, your face wear, your headwear, scarves, cloaks and your general outfits. The further we get in the game, we'll be able to change our wand handles, flying mounts and brooms. The more exploration and progress we make within the game, obviously the more outfits we'll have to choose from. If we want our outfit to stand out from the crowd, this is the place for us. Check out what one of the students said about my prefet fest outfit. Are you in pyjamas? Of course, he got what he deserves. Oh, sure, I just deserve that. Not that he seems to agree. The second option goes way beyond simply changing our outfit. We can change our whole appearance similar to what we did originally. For this, we'll need to open up the Hogsmeade map. We're going to look for the scissors and we're going to go to Madden Snellin's Tress Emporium. There's quite a sense of humour, cracking jokes about how she'd rather be a hairdresser than be an aura for the Ministry of Magic. We haven't come for chit chat. We've came to revamp our look. Now for our third and final option, it will involve creating a whole new file save. This will be the option for you if you want to have multiple playthroughs in different houses. If you're torn between Slytherin and Gryffindor, this is the perfect opportunity to have different playthroughs. The downside is it's time consuming and we have to begin right from the beginning. But you can skip the cutscenes with Professor Pig by holding Y or Triangle. One word of advice is to watch out when exiting your game that you're not losing any progress and you're not over saving your other save files. You will be warned in the menu but watch out for these. If you're already in a game you will need to open up the menus, click exit game and make sure you save before you exit. You will be warned. <laughs>